presentation here of uh, Stage 6, the Lion Foundation uh, stage of the Pioneer Tour of Southlands. And uh, Commissaire on the tour, of course, Mr. Graham Sycamore, well experienced in this tour, is going to assist with the presentation. And that will go to the man in yellow, but also five-time winner of this stage, folks. Would you put your hands together for the man from Share the Road, Jeremy Yates. Well, Jeremy, as we've heard before, you've said it's your favourite stage and you've uh, done it once again five times, a fantastic record. Yeah, I have my Share the Road teammates to thank today. It, it's a real special feeling um, to finish first up here, especially in the yellow jersey. Um, yeah, it was, I, it was a huge panic station. As you can see, I hit the deck with about 500 metres to go and luckily Roly waited for me. So um, I have him to thank for, for this stage because he could have cashed in and, and tried to make up some time back. So. Thankfully for me, he's a classy rider. It was quite uh, blustery conditions out there for quite some time, and that lead group didn't really establish themselves too much. They picked up a few sprints and hill climbs along the way, but really just hovered around that two-minute mark for most of the stage. That's right. The, this stage traditionally is where the King of the Mountains classification is tied up, so uh, between Meanshorst and Cooper, they were battling out to see who's going to take the lead in that um, category. So, yeah, the Share the Road boys, as I said, just kept it controlled and kept the time gap low, and then... Yeah, managed to reel them back in before the finish. Well, it was another fantastic effort up the hill, Jeremy. It's a great competition going on, folks. Would you put your hands together for the stage winner of Lion Foundation stage, Jeremy Yates from Share the Roads. There's a number of hill climbs along the roads here of Southland to pick up those points. And Rob McNaughton is going to assist us with the presentation of the Hydrolink Jesco King of the Mountains. He's making his way forwards. Here he comes. And that uh, stays on the shoulders of the man that was away for the majority of the day, representing Subway at Barty, folks. Would you put your hands together for Joe Cooper? Well, Joe, another big day there out on the roads around Southland, and you're out there trying to secure as many points as possible along the way. Uh, yeah, so the plan was simple, getting that early move and hopefully collect the points. And at one stage there, towards the end, we're getting about 20-odd K out. You made a bit of a move off the front of your group, pick up another hill climb, but also potentially at one stage it was looking like no response from the main field, a potential stage win. Yeah, I had this uh, crazy idea go from my head that I'd just go solo to the end, but uh, then it went up again, and I was like, oh, it's all over. And of course you had Menhorst up there for the SVS team, they're really starting trying to put some pressure on to the Subway team for this jersey, so it looks like it's going to go right down to the wire. Yeah, that team sure is putting in a good effort to try and knock me off, so I'm going to have to keep my guard up and just sniff around their back wheels and just make sure they don't do anything silly, like get away from me. So the battle continues, folks, here for the Hydrolink Jesco King of the Mountains for the man in the polka dot jersey going into the second last day, Joe Cooper of Subway Advanti. <laughs> presentation here of the Harcourt's Sprint Ace and continuing to lead in the green jersey, folks, from Pure Black Racing, Roman Van Uden. Well, Roman, uh, not exactly a day with a lot of sprints, so it was an opportunity, I guess, to sort of relax a little bit there once we got through the early stages of this particular stage. Yeah, I let my teammate Mark Langlands get up on the breakaway, and he was uh, just taking the points of safety and really just had a relaxing day in the peloton until we came to this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and how was the general feel back there in that main peloton? We know we had uh, six, seven riders get away very early on, but the response seemed to be fairly quiet from further back in the main field. Yeah, the Share the Road boys are having to ride pretty hard on the front just to 
keep the pace up into the headwind, so uh, it was a reasonably relaxing day for everyone just to sit behind them. I guess it gives you a bit of time to uh, contemplate the next couple of days where there are a number of sprints up for grabs here in the jersey. Yeah, I definitely needed a good rest after uh, yesterday afternoon's uh, tough ride and um, looking forward to tomorrow. Well, we look forward to seeing this battle continue for the green jersey, folks. The Harcourt Sprint Ace, Roman Van Uden of Pure Black Racing. And it all came down to the climb at the end to determine who would be going into the pink this afternoon. And folks, we have a new leader, as we suggested, from Benchmark Homes. Folks, would you put your hands together for Josh Atkins. Well, Josh, it's a great battle going on with that under 23. A number of riders involved in the competition. It's been a few days on different shoulders, but today, getting yourself into it on this major climb. Yeah, well, uh, very happy to obviously be in the jersey, and um, myself, Dan, and James have been riding really well. Uh, unfortunately, I got taken down in that crash before Buff, so I was determined to make up for that today, and was happy with how it went. Now, of course, you've got the likes of uh, young Matt Marshall of Southland who's been climbing very well, so he would have been one of the men that you would have earmarked coming into this climb here after what you saw in action up Bluff Hill the other day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know that he's a, a great climber with uh, how he climbs lately in up Bluff and also at the Elite Nationals, but I knew whoever uh, stuck at it the best uh, from the bottom was going to come off best and, and fight yep. to stay off those leaders, and that's how it went. And he's certainly come off best all right, folks. He's now into the PSIS under 23 leaders. That, of course, is Josh Atkins of Benchmark Homes. And uh, still, since uh, day one here in the Bounty Tour, it continues to be the powerhouse in the cycling of this tour, the Share the Road team. So the riders just make their way up. You can excuse them for having a bit of a hard day here. Just the body's just a bit weary on it. And Gordon's going to be first across here to have the discussion. We haven't had a chat yet this tour, Gordon. I know you're a shy man, won't have a few words to say. Well, Gordy, always a tough stage, but a, another good one for the team. Yeah, I mean, the, the guys actually saved, saved me today as our third guy for Team GC. So Jace, Justin and Carl just rode and rode and rode and rode on the front. Unbelievable rise. I, I think Jason was dropped five or six times and kept coming back and getting back on the front. So essentially, I didn't really have to do a lot. I just had to uh, get myself up the crown range as fast as I could, as I could, which, to be honest, wasn't that fast. <laughs> and of course, the man here at the far ends of your team here, Jack, sneaking off the front there with about, I don't know, about 15 odd K, doing 70 K an hour. There must have been a, a major reaction in the field here with the guy sitting in second place trying to sneak off there for the stage. Yeah, well, I got, I got dropped on the little steep hill up just before uh, the Coronet Road there. And uh, I come back up in the second group and, and everybody was in single file and I thought, Crokey, what's going on up there? And Julie made my way up to the front and said to Jeremy, what's going on? He said, oh, that little dot at 40 seconds is Jack. He's pretending to be a motorbike. Yeah. And uh, so we just uh, sat in behind Calder Stewart and enjoyed the ride. You know, was, you know, they, they chased hard and in the end it played into our hands. Well, he certainly does a good impersonation of a motorbike. He was fair flying along, as is this entire team, folks. Would you put your hands together for Share the Road, the leaders of the Wesley Team Classification. To show why he is the strongest man in this field for the 2010 Power Net Tour of South. And folks from Shear the Road, Jeremy Yates. Well, Jeremy, let's talk mental games for a moment. For the yellow jersey to get himself off the ground after a bit of a crash like that and take out the stage victory certainly must play mind games for a lot of those top contenders. Yes and no. I, it, it was a 
pretty confusing finish to the stage, you know. I, I was just about to start my attack. Ralston had done the whole climb on the front. And yeah, it was really unfortunate that um, the motorbike and the, and the crash played a part of it. Um, yeah, had I not crashed, it, it would have been maybe a, a closer battle between myself and George. But yeah, I had, I had the legs today and, and yeah, luckily the bike wasn't too damaged and I was still able to, to get back up again. Actually, as I was midway through the fall, I thought, geez, I have to recover from this one pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a strange one, but yeah, I, I'm just not too sure on things just yet. I have to watch the coverage and yeah, I don't know, it's, it's just one of those things. Now you mentioned the road recovery, of course. You need to recover very quickly as all the riders do because tomorrow going into a very long stage and traditionally a stage that has often changed the face of the race as they head to Tianao. Yeah, big time. Tomorrow's a tough day and, and it'll be another hard one for the Share the Road boys. Uh, hopefully we can control it as we have done this tour. Um, going by the weather, that's, that's normally you know, an important factor in tomorrow's stage, whether it's blowing from the side, but I think tomorrow we'll have a, uh, the wind behind us so that might play into our hands a little bit better. He mentioned the road control there, folks, and he is certainly well in control at the moment from Share the Roads, the Powernet Limited's tour leader, folks, Jeremy Yates from Share the Roads.